Here we are. It's part three. And uh, if you've been following along this point, we are now six and two. And um, my predictions are probably exactly right. So be happy that you're watching this video and we've already got six wins. Uh, so that takes us into the, I believe the November month. And um, this is a, an interesting stretch uh, because we have two games and then our bye week 11. Um, and then we have two more games that we're going to look at in this video. Uh, and we got into, we got a, another divisional game in this stretch too. So let's get started uh, right away. The bears week nine home game, uh, the bears three and 14 last year. Um, they've made some changes. They've added a ton of weapons. So Justin Fields, uh, they're going all in on him. So that means they brought, uh, you know, Darnell Mooney's back, but they also brought in DJ Moore. They brought in Chase uh, Claypool. They brought in uh, Dante Foreman as well to uh, to bolster the backfield. Um, so they are all in on trying to get this team to work. Um, they were dead last in team defense last year. Um, but, um, you know, I don't know. They're, they're probably looking at their schedule going to be somewhere around three and five by this point in the season, optimistically. Um, but this game is in a dome and, um, the saints struggle historically with more, uh, mobile quarterbacks that play off schedule, uh, add that to the fact that fields will be on turf. Um, I'm going to put the trap game alert right here. Um, but I, I don't think the saints lose another home game. I think at this point they're rounding out their form at six and two. And we, we put on a show for our fans, uh, abuse the, the bears kind of lowly defense and, uh, and get a win for the home fans. Uh, so I have a win here next up week, 10 Vikings away. They were 13 and four last year. If you watched any of their games, including the one um, I think that we had with them, uh, they were every bit a phony, um, but they were also every bit an extremely solid football team. Uh, by that, I mean they were not a 13 and 4 team, but, uh, but they were also very competent and good at what they wanted to do. Um, Justin Jefferson is incredible, probably the best receiver in their league. Uh, Dalvin Cook, when he is healthy, is one of the most um, versatile, effective running backs. Kirk Cousins is adequate, uh, and they drafted Jordan Addison to um, to go on the other side of Jefferson. Uh, so he, you know, if he can get up to speed with their offense, that's just another weapon. Um, I think that their team is probably about the same. I don't know if their trajectory is up or down. I do think they'll have a worse record than last year, uh, but I don't know if that means they're substantially worse or better. Their style of play always seems to get us trip, uh, trip us up. I don't know. This is a weird team. I don't like the matchup. I actually have us losing this game uh, on the road in Minnesota. And then, that takes us into a bye week where we can relax and sit back and see how the season is progressing. Um, that puts us at seven and three. Uh, not bad, uh, certainly uh, miles ahead of what we wanted to see last year. Week 12, Falcons away. Divisional opponent. They were seven and 10 last year. I don't know if anyone knew that. Uh, doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, it, it shocked me when I saw it. Um, notable players, Kyle Pitts, they drafted B. John Robinson and um, we're still waiting for the emergence of Drake London. Is Desmond, Desmond Ritter going to be playing quarterback? Um, look, here's the deal. After a bye week, this team, uh, this should always be a win. Uh, their trajectory for the Falcons, I have them getting worse and this is a win. I, I don't want to hear about it, and I certainly don't want to see anything resembling um, football that puts us in a chance to lose that game. Uh, and that brings us to week 13, the Lions. Home game. Lions were 9-8. and eight. They are the media darling. They are the team that everyone is talking about going into the season. Everyone loves their coach. Uh, they drafted Hendon Hooker to uh, possibly sit and be the heir apparent to J um, Jared Goff. Uh, they also drafted uh, Jameer Gibbs 
kind of a surprising early pick for a running back. They don't really go that high, but they love them. Some Alabama guys, Jamison Williams is on that roster, if you'll recall. And uh, if he's healthy, he's dangerous. Um, You know, looking at their schedule, there's no favors done for us here. Detroit plays two home games before this against both uh, of their divisional opponents that should be pretty bad this year, Green Bay and Chicago. Um, So they should be pretty confident in this game. And they have a versatile offense. Uh, I have us losing uh, in a close game to the Lions. And yet again, uh, that's a game of the Dome. So guys, I I, I do think we are going to be a good team, but maybe stay home from the Dome. I don't know. Uh, But that gets us to the end of uh, November or end of week 13, two and two. And that gets us to an eight and four record. And um, I don't know. Let's see if we can get to 10. Uh, I I don't feel like it's out of the realm. I don't think I've picked anything too crazy. Um, But uh, stay tuned for the final part.